Hello guys, uh, welcome back to my channel. So in the previous lecture, we discussed about running the WinApp driver through root capability and non-root capabilities. And what is the need of running it using root capabilities. Okay, so today's, in today's session, we are going to discuss about what are the different locators supported by WinApp driver. So let us jump on to the document where I have listed or it is provided by WinApp driver itself. So this particular URL I'll be sharing with you or I'll be sharing this content as well. Like what are the different supported locators? Okay, so we have accessibility ID, class name, ID, name, tag name and xpath. So in order to find out tag name, we'll have to find out localized control type in inspect.exe. For accessibility ID, we'll have to use automation ID. For class name, we will have to look for class name. So these are the things that we need to look in. Okay, so without further ado, let us jump onto the code. So this is uh, what I have already listed down some of the elements. Settings we have already discussed in the previous session. This is, I'm talking about notepad here. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to uh, open the notepad. I'm going to quickly show you like how I found these elements. So settings I have already clicked. So I'm clicking on the setting elements, right? Then after what are the different locators? So first locator which I have found, I have found group, right? Which is by tag name, okay? So uh, if I hover over my mouse, let me open the inspector.txe. Inspector.txe is open. Now I'm moving to untitled notepad, right? After uh, moving to no, un, untitled notepad, what I'm doing is I'm now hovering my mouse, okay? So if I hover my mouse, I found group. So notice, even though it is small, group so whatever is available here we need to copy from here we need to cover uh, provide the capital okay so if you notice i have provided z capital right similarly uh, x path how i formed the x path for font so this is what is font right so if you notice group is a localized control type which is nothing but a tag name right so i'm using this as a tag so i provided capital z and then after what i'm doing is i am providing name as a font this is how i formed the x path Later on, I used class name as well. So if I expand this, then uh, there are some combo boxes as well. So as they are like list of combo boxes, so I'm using I'm using a, a list, right? I'll just show you. So if you notice, this is combo box. I'm not exactly using this combo box. What I'm doing is I'm copying this combo box. Okay. If you notice, this is how I'm using it, right? I'm getting the list of combo boxes and then I'm printing it. Okay. Similarly, how, how to find the X, uh, this accessibility ID. Accessibility ID is nothing but uh, automation ID. So if you observe, this is automation ID and I'm using it as an automation ID. Okay. But there is a challenge when we run it through APM because uh, I'll just show you. We will get one error in this case and I'll tell you the error as well. What is the reason? Okay. it opened the notepad clicked on settings and now we got the error so what is the error apm doesn't support the tag name so if you go locator strategy tag name is tag name is not supported for this session okay so if you will find some, somewhere here so calling apm driver dot find elements with argument tag name with group right if you observe this is what we are trying to find right so uh, but this uh, particular uh, APM uh, support only XPAR, ID, name, class name and accessibility ID. So that's why it is causing issue. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to comment this part and run it again. Okay. So you will observe, it will uh, do rest of the operations. Okay. So it will open the notepad, maximize it, click on settings. Now it will click on font. It have clicked on world wrap toggle button as well. So this is how it, it works, right? But when we run, this is the exception in case of APM. But when we run it through process builder, so I have copied everything, right? If you observe, I have tag name uh, using tag name. If I run from here, then we don't have issue. If we run the WinApp driver manually or through this uh, process builder, we won't have issue because APM doesn't support those elements. Uh, like tag name i mean so let me run it i'm running it using this process builder now so let us see it will support everything now so if you see we got it we we didn't get any issue right and then after we will go to the log part as well let me go to the log part okay so 
I'm just hovering over the log, right? So first, uh, what we are trying to find group text is number of groups, right? So number of groups we are printing, right? Which is two, okay? And what is the text? I'm trying to print the text of those as well, right? So if you observe, first is app theme, right? If you observe, this is app theme, and second group is font. You will get font. Similarly, uh, then I'm trying to find out the combo boxes. So if you will observe. We it will show you four combo boxes, uh, right? Combo boxes are combo boxes on the page sizes four, right? And then it is printing uh, this different combo boxes. So if you observe, this is the this is what is it is printing, right? So whatever is available, so you will uh, see like you will say like why it is what one two three, and this is another uh, this drop down box, right? Or combo box. So this is how we can use uh, this is accessibility ID. So this is how we can use different locators. And uh, this is what I wanted to cover in the session. So in the next lecture, uh, we will be covering on different controls such as drop down, how to click on drop down, or how to select value in drop down, how to switch to window. Uh, we'll try to cover in next session or maybe in subsequent session. And then we are going to introduce one more inspector in the subsequent sessions. So stay stay tuned for more updates. Thank you for now.